What is the best free Shopify theme? That's a trick question because they're all actually the same theme. They're all just Dawn. Shopify isn't very clear about this and I think it's a bit misleading, but let me show you what I mean. I'm talking about the free themes on the official theme store here. You might be a beginner to Shopify and you're looking at these themes and you're choosing which one of them you might wanna use because they all look quite different, don't they? They have quite a different design. But in fact, all of these themes have exactly the same sections and blocks available. They have the exact same settings and they have the exact same code. All these themes really are our presets or pre-designed versions of the same theme. And the original theme is Dawn. That's the theme you get installed on your store by default. And that's why I call all of these themes Dawn, okay? Or Dawn-based themes. So in other words, if you're already using Dawn, there's no point switching to another one of these themes. Or if you're sitting there deciding which one of these themes to use, don't let this decision slow you down because you actually can just, within half an hour, turn any one of these themes into any one of these other themes, if that makes sense. Let me show you an example. So here I've got my demo store that I use for tutorials and it's using Dawn. And here, right next to it in another tab, I have opened Sense theme, which is one of these free themes. And it looks quite different, but let me show you how quick and easy it is to make Dawn look exactly like Sense theme. So first of all, when we click add section, we have all the same sections available. Featured collection, featured product collection list, rich text, okay? It's gonna be in the exact same order here in Dawn as well. And I'm gonna add image with text because that's the first section that Sense is using. I'll drag it up to the top. If you compare them here, they look quite different, don't they? You might think that this is a different theme, but in fact, let me just switch some of the settings here. We're gonna place the image second. We're gonna make the image larger and we're going to select overlap. And let me actually use a real image so that you can see what it would actually look like. And you can see it's starting to look a lot more like sense. You might think, oh, the uh, there's background and, and the border radius, sorry, I mean the, uh, the corners are sharper here, but those are also just settings. So we'll change the container color scheme, give it a background color like this. And then for the general theme settings, go down into content containers and let's set like a corner radius of 15 pixels or something. And as you can see, that is really starting to look like sense theme. And I can do exactly the same demonstration for any one of these themes. It will take me less than 30 minutes to make Dawn look like any one of these themes. So if you're wondering what's the difference between these themes, 30 minutes, that's the difference. Now I'm making this video just because I feel like it's not very clear. I feel that maybe some beginners would be looking at these themes and deciding which one. And I don't want that decision to slow you down. Just go with Dawn or go with whichever one looks more like the end result that you're trying to achieve. Because that's why Shopify has done this. Choosing one of these themes basically gives you a starting point that is a little bit closer to the end result that you're trying to achieve. So just go for the aesthetics, go for whichever one gives you the best kind of feel and you'll basically save a little bit of time when customizing it for your store. Now, if you're a beginner to Shopify, you might also be thinking, isn't this how all themes work? Do all Shopify themes have like the same settings, uh, the same types of sections, and then the difference is how they're designed with the colors and typography and things? No, this isn't how all Shopify themes work. Shopify themes can be entirely different in their settings, in the sections available. So here I'm looking at a theme called Broadcast. This is one of the best official premium themes, the, the paid themes on the official theme store. So when we click add section here, we have a whole bunch of different sections that we can add. We can add accordions, you know, there's collection carousel, there's logo list, Google map, there's things like hotspots, there's testimonials, and each one of these sections, even if we have something that's a, a typical type of section like image with text, you'll see that the settings are completely different from the settings available in the same image with text section inside Dawn theme. So it's a different theme, it's designed differently, it has different possibilities. Now lastly, you might be thinking, what about non-official themes, like not from the theme store, but third-party themes? There are some free third-party themes, 
Personally, I barely even recommend paid third-party themes. There are only a few that I would recommend and they are the most popular ones like Ella, like Minimog, themes that have been downloaded and used on thousands of stores. And those are the only third-party themes that I would maybe trust. The thing is that Shopify has very strict requirements for the themes that it allows on the official theme store. And it's very hard as a theme developer to get onto the official theme store, okay? And third-party themes, they have no such requirements. So the quality can be quite a lot lower than official themes. And that's why I only recommend those top-rated third-party themes which are not gonna be the free themes. I just, I wouldn't trust any free theme. Your theme is the foundation of your store. It's an investment. You're putting your time into it, into building and customizing your store on top of this theme. You wouldn't build on top of a shaky foundation. You understand what I mean? So if you're a beginner to Shopify and you're on a budget, you want a free theme, then I think your first theme should be Dawn or just one of these free themes, but just don't let the decision-making process slow you down because they're all basically the same theme. If you have money and it's your first store, then I think that it should be one of the official premium themes. Third-party themes, leave that for when you have a little bit of experience and you know exactly what you're looking for and how to deal with the various problems that come up. Good luck with setting up your store. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you found this video useful. If you have any questions about Shopify themes, let me know in the comments and I can address that in the next video.